There he is, man. My guy, man. My friend. The guy that everybody looks up to. Matter of fact, it's like a class for bosses. So I think that's why they call it yeah. Boss Talk 101. Man. For all y'all the media players, we got a summer community class coming out at the local community college, Boss Talk 099. That's for all y'all that's self-employed, you don't have no employees, but you're your own boss. At Boss Talk 099, that's coming. Um, I think you got to register at the Urban League. Man, thank you so much for coming by to check us out behind the scenes. We here with this nigga right here who be tripping. Black run. I ain't even know. I be tripping. I ain't even know, man. Let's go. I be tripping. I love this, man. Let's go. Here you go. Right here. At all the office. Let's go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was really yeah. like, dang, who is this dude that Boss really gonna just bump, bump, just gonna bump by me? And then my photographer, yeah, we this on dude, this videographer I got, he said, man, that's black. Girl. Like, nigga, who? He was mm -hmm. on me, man. So mm -hmm. evidently, so I went and did my research, man. And found out, and I, that night, man, dope show, man. I appreciate you it. and Chico Bean, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, um, it's certain shows I've watched there when people invite us down, mm -hmm. and that was one to be remembered, man. The way you you kept the the crowd involved, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I say, I just seeing you, you know, in in rap form after we had talked at the comedy show. Right. I found out that, you know, I was talking to a guy that really, really was was that guy, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really respect that man. I and and I, how could I slipped up and not know? I'm supposed to know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with them boys. Carlos been on here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? People have been through here. Shout out to my boys. Uh, Carlos Miller, uh, Chico Bean, he got, they called me. Like, we, we know that this is going down over here. So them guys mean a lot to me. I should have been up on it. So mm -hmm. And Alex Thomas, you and him was on yep. the same type show. I should have seen that. And I'm like, damn. Like, me and Alex did plenty of shows together, actually. Yeah, Alex a good one. I had on here uh, uh, Bubba Dub, one of them. Yep. That's my guy. Like, I, and for some reason, this show uh, has become a base for the comedians. Fades on love. You, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I know that. So I embraced that because I knew that there was an open lane for that. The respect that was due on a noted platform in this market wasn't here. So I knew when I went, I was going to go get them guys. That That's I why I rolled up on you the way I did. Because I was like, because at first when you were doing Boss Talk, you know, you were interviewing, you know, street cats, yeah, yeah. you know, self-made men, yeah. ballers, hustlers. So it really wasn't a space for cats in my realm. Yeah. Then I look around, you got one comedian on here. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Cheating ass Myron. Yeah, you know, yeah, cheating ass Myron on there. Then, 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 then you go to Jesse. I'm like, well, you know, you know, Jesse handicapable, so he might have been doing something for the disabled. You know what I'm saying? Then you had Country Wayne on here. I'm like, well, you know, Country Wayne self made millionaire. He the first internet millionaire, you know, that you know, his reason. But then then you start like just all the niggas that work but with me. But we had Phase on before we even had him. That's yeah. the, and then that's what I'm saying. So you got Phase on, Carlos. Chico, yeah, we kicking it. Bubba Doug, Alex, Alex, Alex Thomas. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I just got off the road with half Run of that G, list. Run G. Run G. Run G. G. <laughs> Run G what, was only in town for two days. <laughs> we did him in LA. In LA. <laughs> we been traveling that, okay, everywhere. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> we went out with LA. LA and done him. So, I hope in some of your homework that you did on me, you went and saw that I got some of the highest views at the Laugh Factory. What's up with it, y'all? We outside with it. We made it. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. That was my. That was what I'm that's saying. I'm supposed and to see that. Gia, cool. So I'm like, that's when it start. That's when I started to take it personal. I'm like, <laughs> so, so I feel like he. I feel like he fucking with everybody but me. So, you know, maybe maybe it's because maybe it's because I never walked up and shook the man's hand and told him, you know, I like what he's doing. But but in telling you that I liked what you're doing, my feelings got in. I seen that. And I was like, hey man, I like what I'm you're like, doing. But fuck what you got going on. <laughs> Why you ain't had me on there, baby? I'm him. <laughs> Right then, young sexy hoes ain't got Glade plug-ins. They got Fabuloso on the back. <laughs> Cause I don't like bragging, bro, but I'm I'm low-key the highest decorated black comedian 
from Dallas. And I used to say the highest decorated comedian from Dallas, but here lately, my man Ralph Bar- Barbosa okay. been tearing it up. So and he's here in Dallas? He, too? He's an Oak Cliff native. On And he, shout out to my essay. Harry having a baby at a young age. I feel like I'm a new employee who just got put to train an even newer employee. He's, that's also yeah. just as Oak Cliff as we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I like D. Ellis. Hey, I am the highest <laughs> decorated yeah. comedian. I don't care who you finna name, that nigga don't have more credits than me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the only credit that I that Ralph has that I don't have is, it's you know, what? Jimmy Fallon. He just performed on Jimmy oh, Fallon. Wow, that's big. He just got a write up in the LA Times. That's big. Wow. He just got a write up in Variety Magazine. That's hard. He just got through beefing with George Lopez. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because over the, what? Over the fact that George pulled an EC. George, ECO ain't did nothing to you wrong. George didn't know who Ralph was. Oh, that's so crazy. they said, "Hey, George, what you think about the new kid, Ralph Barbosa?" People saying he the next you. So he's like, "Who the fuck is Ralph Barbosa?" <laughs> then he asked his assistant, "You ever heard of a fucking Ralph Barbosa?" <laughs> I ain't never heard of that <laughs> Ralph Barbosa. Not knowing that Ralph is the, the 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 new rising star, and he's a Latino, and he's always looked up to George. He's wow. always admired George. So you shitting on one of your yeah. on, on one of your proteges yeah. and biggest fans. Right. So when George found out about that, he called Ralph up personally. Wow, and was like, "Bro, I was just talking shit on a podcast. G, I, I genuinely did not." Know who you were, never heard of you. Shout out to you, young man. I see what you out here doing. Salute. That, that's and that and that that's 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 big that's because really big. the OGs really don't take that kind of humility when talking to us young cats. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So but before this last three months mm-hmm. uh that, that Ralph been on this meteoric rise, Black Run was the highest decorated comedian from Dallas. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.